Now at 10, three people are behind bars after a missing teen is found during a human trafficking bust in Hines County. WJTV 12's Margaret Ann Carter joins us from the studio with a disturbing place. One of those suspects was found. Margaret Ann? Edward Williams, Charmaine Turner, and Christopher Griffin have all been charged with human trafficking, promoting prostitution, exploitation of a minor, and possession of child pornography. But one of the most disturbing things about this case is that Christopher Griffin, who was previously arrested and required to register as a sex offender, was found just outside of a school. This type of crime makes me sick. But the sad reality is human trafficking is happening more and more, and right here in our own backyard. Human trafficking is one of the fastest growing crimes that we've seen in this area. And the victims are getting younger and younger. We've seen them as young as 12. And, you know, money is the root of all evil. Hines County investigators came face to face with that evil during a human trafficking bust at a metro area hotel when they found a young girl who had been reported missing, forced to engage in prostitution. I'm glad we got them. I'm glad we got them, and they'll pay for it. There are 710 registered sex offenders in Hines County alone. And so people need to be aware and uh, watch out for their children and their loved ones because you, you, you don't know who lives next door to you. Christopher Griffin was previously convicted of sexual battery of a minor and was required to register as a sex offender. However, when investigators went to arrest Griffin, he was found outside of a school, which is why Sheriff Victor Mason is asking people to be extremely vigilant and report any and all suspicious activity. If if you see something that looks kind of strange, a young child that's with about two or three other men, I think you need to start calling somebody. It's just done. The Hines County Sheriff's Office asks everyone to call authorities if you see suspicious activity. That number is 601-974-2900. We have it on our website. And there are also ways to find out if someone is a registered sex offender. We also have more on how you can do just that on our website, wjtv.com. Byron.